Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, 20th September, we'll talk a little more about Peter. Peter had many highs and lows in his life, but was consistently loved by the Lord, who, according to the circumstances, will praise, rebuke, guide, and give glimpses of glory to reassure. He was rebuked when he tried to stand between the Lord and the cross, unaware that if there is no cross, there will be no crown. We see this in Matthew 16, 21 to 23. Yet with James and John, Peter was allowed to witness the transfiguration, which was an appreciation of Christ in glory. This happens immediately after this incident, Matthew 17, 1 to 8. When the Lord died, it must have seemed to Peter that the end had indeed come. His hopes and aspirations were uh, buried too, but the Lord's resurrection restored him. Lord appeared to Peter personally and was encouraged to meet the Lord in the upper room with the other disciples, but his restoration was not complete until the meeting with the Lord in Galilee. Lord asked him thrice whether Peter loved him or not, and Peter answered, saying, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I have loved I love you. With this, his fellowship with the Lord was restored and the way back to service was opened up. Only when we humble ourselves, we are equipped to spread the word. That is true in all our cases. Ten days after the Lord ascended, the day of Pentecost came and the Holy Spirit descended. Peter till then was afraid of the Romans and was very timid, but the power given by the Holy Spirit converted him into a powerful speaker. Peter stood up with the eleven and delivered a powerful message full of scripture and full of Christ in his resurrection uh, and in his glory. Thousands from all over the world heard the message and 3,000 of them were broken down and converted. We see this in Acts 2.41. In the days following Peter, uh, in the days following uh, the departure of Jesus Christ, Peter plays a prominent role in the spread of the gospel, attended with uh, miracles wrought in the name of the Lord. Peter preached as a man in love with his Lord and in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Such a presentation of the risen Lord still works miracles in men's lives today. The cripple begging at the beautiful gate received something better than silver or gold. It was clear that it was through Lord's name that this man was made whole. Peter also faced problems among assemblies, as evidenced in the case of Ananias and Sapphira, who conspired against the Holy Spirit. Both fell down dead at Peter's feet, and as a result, great fear came on all the church, and many more were added to the Lord. On a number of occasions, Peter was uh, imprisoned and had a remarkable release due to uh, some some prayers of the believers. One of the last records we read of him concerns the sad occasion at Antioch when he was rebuked by Paul for his failure to stand against the Judeans in the church. Peter lived for God in enthusiasm and in power of the Spirit. His feelings about his experiences were recorded in his two epistles which bear his name. These are full of sound advice, clearly based on his relations with the Lord. He says, cast all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us many more things about uh, Peter, Lord. Lord, we are all somehow like Peter, falling down every time. Please help us to revive. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.